Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Curtis Tomatoes here, and I'm doing this video for my Facebook group, Heirloom Tomato Seeds and Pictures. And I just want to demonstrate to you this planter that I'll be growing some micro dwarfs in this year. Um, it's a 55 gallon barrel plastic that somebody made and somewhere and <clears throat> let me have it basically. And this year I'll be using this for my micro dwarfs. Uh, as a project, I would think there was there were about maybe 40 or 50 holes in this thing. One, two, three, four, five, maybe about 50 holes. So I can put 50 50 plants in here, and I suppose they will they will droop or kind of droop. You know, it's an experiment, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go check it out and see if, see how it works. And I'll put some different varieties of dwarfs in here. And also, once this is filled, I can also I can also plant. Uh, the top of it. All right. Let me tell you what what this um what this thing how it's made up. Here 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 is a um, you know it has four legs and in the middle of the, the in the middle of it inside there's a there's a, a worm for worms a worm port and the worm port has a a cap. And here's a cap right here. Let me get it. Here's the cap. So I can put the cap on right here. So that's covered. See that right there? That's covered. So I can put I can put scraps of food in there, you know, mix it up with whatever, with food and some some dirt or whatever, some some soil. So the worms are in there. I, and then in this tunnel here, in this worm tunnel, there's also a, there are also lots of holes so that the worms can get out. See that? Whenever they want to get into the soil, right? Fix some some nitrogen in there, whatever they're gonna do, right? And then on the bottom side of this tunnel, I really like this tunnel because it's built really well and, and, and really thoughtful and I think it's going to do an excellent job. Um, I, I posted some pictures of this a few years ago on, um, in, in, my, in our group before it crashed but I never really used it. So this is the first year, 2018, that I'm going to fill it with micro dwarfs and see what happens. On the top side I'm going to put some micros in there also or some flowers in there. And then, let me, show you, let me show you the bottom side. On the bottom side now we have this opening here right um, it can it can simply come off I can I can reach it pull it off and the bottom opens up like that right and that's and that's a worm that's the bottom of the, of the worm bin basically so the worms crawl into here to eat eat the scraps and I'm definitely gonna use it for scraps they, they eat the scraps and then they go into the soil and do their do their stuff okay and so I think this is worth a shot let me close this back here I think this is worth a shot I think I think working with this bin this year is definitely worth a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it works out, and there you have the whole whole bin right there, top side, bottom side, and I just kind of half it cleaned it out, and I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it works. Okay, uh, stay stay in touch with me, and we we do this project together and see how it how it works. Right here, I have some lime. That lime is some of the lime I'm gonna use for use for their arm. Um, for the soil here, um, I'm gonna put some pro mix in here, mix it with some compost and some of this lime. I have some 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 um, vermiculite, but I'm not gonna use that because the pro mix already has vermiculite. And I'm gonna put some 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 Epsom salts in here, mix it up really nice. I think I'll need about three bags of soil for this, and I'll get it going and plant various varieties and and make it a, a summer project this year, 2018. Okay, so let me. End this video by saying I love you guys and um, I want you guys to see this to do this project with me, okay? Love you, wish me luck, bye bye.